It's Pelair today and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the liquid RGB effect in After Effects and I'm very satisfied with the look of this effect here. This has to be the best effect I've made this month at least. So because uh, you know I'm trying out new styles now so uh, getting a lot of cool looks but this is yeah I'm very satisfied with this one and if you guys don't know my name is Pelle Sjöberg. I run the editing visuals website where I have a bunch of editing packs that's going to really enhance your editing, save a lot of time, it's going to yeah boost your overall editing workflow. So if that's something you're interested in, be sure to check out the website. Now let's get into the tutorial. So here I'm in After Effects, I have my clip ready to show the effect and I'm using the uh, chain uh, swinging music video of Molly Santana. She has pretty cool uh, music videos, I would say. And what we're going to be doing to start off with is to make three copies of this uh, yeah, clip, basically. So you're going to press Ctrl D two times like that. So we have three versions. You can name this displays, top, displays, bottom, and then this one, main. Something like that. And we're going to be using a plugin called the Displacer Pro, and it's a free plugin. It's going to be linked in the description so you guys can go and download it. Uh, a really, really good plugin, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, you're going to be adding it to the uh, layer here. So here is the effect here, and we can play around with the translate Y and X here. And it's going to work very similar to the displacement map effect in Office, but this is. Uh, I tried both, this is going to give you the coolest look in my opinion. And for this one we're going to uh, use this translate Y, so we're going to drag this one down very much, so we get this liquid look here, for minus 400, something like that. It's going to look very distorted and pixelated now, but this is going to look very good in the ending. So uh, we're going to be keyframing that uh, at minus 400 around there, then we're going to go to the ending here. Then we're gonna set it to zero. So it's gonna look something like this now. Very cool liquid look here. We're going to open up the layer effects display to pro. We're going to be transform here. We're going to be marking the keyframes. Press F9. Open up the graph. And here we're going to make a graph that's going to look something like this. A fairly sharp graph in the beginning. So it's going to be something like this. Pretty fast in the beginning. After that, you can make this layer uh, lighten as blending mode. So it's going to look something like this. A little bit more transparent now. And you can actually copy this whole effect. Ctrl C and then go to the dis displays bottom. Ctrl V. And here we're going to be just changing the settings. But we're going to be using uh, mostly the same uh, kind of graph and stuff like that. So here we're going to be going to the positive percentage here. So we're going to go up to... 200 around there, so it's going to look something like this. Can go up to 400. I'm gonna go 300 there. You'll have to play around a little bit to get the look you guys want. I'm gonna go with 300. Uh, you're gonna open up the layer effects, displays a pro, transform, and here open up the graph. And now it looks very weird, so we're going to drag this one down, something like that. So this is the look we have for the moment. Super cool liquid look. This already just looks very, very clean in my opinion. And you have to make this lighten as well as blending mode. So I'm not going to be having the layers looking like this uh, pixel distorted uh, glitchy kind of look. I'm going to be adding a blur to this and I'm going to be using directional blur. Just because it's coming from the top here, it's going to be a uh, yeah, zero degrees. I don't want to have it uh, horizontal, the blur. I want to have it uh, directly from the top. I'm going to set the blur length to 30. Copy the directional blur, use that displays bottom as well. And now you will get this kind of look here. Looks absolutely incredible in my opinion. And uh, now it's when the interesting part is going to look like. This is the cool kind of liquid uh, blur effect. Super cool. But now it's for the final touches. So I'm going to be making a adjustment layer now. So press Ctrl Alt Y. And here I'm going to start off by adding edge detect. You will get this look here. And I'm going to start off by dragging down the edge move to a 3. Then the saturation to 1.5. So the colors are going to be popping a little bit more. I'll have to increase the threshold to 0.5. So these are the colors that's going to be showing. Then you can 
uh, make your favorite color maybe pop a little bit more. So I wanna, want the blue to pop even more. Gonna set it to two. I'm gonna keep the other ones at default. If you like green, you could add green. Uh, choose what color you guys want to pop a little bit extra uh, in your effect. After that, I'm gonna be adding flicker and I'm going to set the amplitude to 0 0.5 and then the random colors to 1. So if we just look at this adjustment layer now, this is the effect we're getting. Very, very crazy look in my opinion so far. Super cool. Now for the final effect for this adjustment layer that's really going to sell this effect, I'm going to be adding deep glow. And here I'm going to change the glow mode to lens iris. So we get this look here. And after that, I'm going to change the blending mode of the adjustment layer to screen. And this is the crazy look you guys will be getting. Uh, we get this weird blue uh, kind of outlines here on the sides. I'm just gonna add a, another adjustment layer, add a transform and then increase the scale a little bit. 115. And if we wanna make the effect pop even more, because my clip I would say is very, very perfect for uh, this kind of effect because it's like uh, dark background and everything can add vignette on the background layer set it to 65 ang angle of view so it's going to be much more darker and it's going to make the effect pop a lot more and this is how the effect's going to look absolutely incredible in my opinion it's yeah i really really love this effect and i'm very satisfied if you guys want to enhance your effects even more i have a crt glitch preset pack so this pack is for you who don't want to waste hours days to be honest trying to make crt glitch effects you want to skip that part and get really clean good looking crt effects this preset pack is perfect for you and if i just make the deep glow here invisible and we're just going to be using uh, this kind of look here i'm gonna make another adjustment layer Control y i'm gonna name it crt so you guys know which adjustment layer it is use the presets and here we have a bunch of CRT glitch effects. Really, really like this. So if I just add the CRT TV glitch, for example, it's going to give you guys this crazy CRT TV look. I think it looks absolutely incredible. And uh, yeah, you guys know I love the CRT style. So that's, <laughs> that's of course I'm gonna like this. Moving on to another effect, new adjustment layer. We could use the digital CRT glitch here. So this is how it's going to look with the uh, digital CRT glitch. Looks pretty, really cool in my opinion. Really cool glitch effect there to add to your uh, music videos. I'm going to be adding one more. We could add the edgy CRT. And this is the look you guys will be getting with that effect. Looks absolutely insane in my opinion. It looks insane. It looks, wow, I mean, incredible. And uh, yeah. If you guys want to check this pack out, there's going to be a link in the description down below. If you guys like this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this tutorial. Don't forget to check out my website, editingvisuals.com. Also, don't forget to check out my Instagram, join my Discord server, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.